Arsenal, but honestly, so has Cole. Yeah. Like, Cole has been playing very, very strong. I mean, I know he wasn't able to get that W against Onan, but like, it was a very, very strong back and forth game. But anyway, we're getting into it now. Uh, only base game characters. So here we go. We got Peach taking on Roy. Let's see how it plays out. Yeah, I wouldn't it be surprised again also to see uh, Cloud show up maybe at some point because Cloud does do very well. But Dada is early on. Not exactly what you want to see if you're Cola because uh, Mew hunting for that falling up air or Z drop to try and maybe close it out early. Yep. <laughs> Holding on to this dot eyes, dude. Does not want to let it go. Just wants to try and get as much damage out of this as possible. And honestly, I do not blame him. Nah, hold on to that where you can. Ah. We're going to toss away finally, though, realizing that Cola was kind of frustrating. Right. Oh, what? You're <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Don't worry, I got you, Queen. I got another one for you right here. Well, we're going to see just, the, uh, just hit the shield. And looking for a big F smash. Looking for a roll read as well. But Cola uh, missing out on the tech hit. Yeah. All right, there we go. Going to get that soft wet noodle hit, but that's fine. Just get to off stage. And honestly, he's had that stage control. That's kind of huge here, especially the way that Roy can move. He goes for the upward angle there, just kind of keep it going. Until that ledge can definitely kill at this position. So that back throw, going to work out very well for Mute. Looking for that pressure. We talked about it before. Mute at kill percent is one of the most difficult players in the entirety of this game. Not going to uh, utilize the toad there. Just go, in the, go out there and get that trade for fair. Yeah. A little bit of an unfortunate uh, moment there. But you know what? At least the punish like there was not existed. So that's huge. But it, ooh, catches him with the jab. Doesn't get the strong hit in the forward air to close out that stock. Whoa, that was almost really bad for you. Yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised Cola went all the way out there for that. That is a very unpunishable move, so trying to hit that is not going to work out. But, of course, the Peach Bomber pretty safe itself on shield. Yeah, it's only punishable if it just hits nothing. It hits your shield. You kind of, like, got a lot of room there. But we do see the back here come out. Ooh. And that's the jump burn. Yeah, you got to just air dodge away. Very good call from Mute, keeping it simple. You don't need to overcomplicate it against a recovery like Royce. Yep. Okay, there we go, the four. <laughs> Again, that soft hit. But you should be able to close this out, right? There we go. Good stuff from Cola. Remaining calm, and that's definitely a scenario where, like, if you get a little bit too far ahead of yourself, yeah. you can mess it up. Because the parasol does have a hitbox. So yeah. you can be, like, really mess yourself up there if you're not careful. It's all about knowing the distance where they could go. Because once that's a committed thing, that's it. You did, that's They can only float back to stage. 34% at the ledge. We haven't been able to win too many ledge traps so far. That's something Mutace has been able to play around from Cola quite a bit. Ah, tried to get the downer, but the punish coming out with a nair. And again, the stage control from Cola has been absolutely huge so far. Whoa! Yeah, he Cola. said, come here. <laughs> Cola looking for that grab. Does find it that time. Forward throw to look for a panic air dodge down. Not the, something you'll see too often from uh, Peach because it's a very long air dodge. Maybe a quote cancel nair, but instead, you're just taking quite some time here, Skip, at the ledge. Okay. Ah, just fell out of that. I mean, honestly, great DI from Mew Ace to be able to get out of there in a very scary scenario. But 123. Oh, wow. Okay, Cola. Just whipping. There we go. Double edge dance will be enough to do it. Approaching the four minute timer. This is not something I'm used to seeing in this matchup between these two, but it's because of how long these stocks have been taking to go. The defense has been very good, but Cola still has a comfortable lead. Yeah, but there we go. They <laughs> just throwing out those arrows, fighting those ghosts. I bet you haven't heard that joke before. <laughs> <laughs> we were cashing them all in before we get to top four, not letting anyone else use some hey, listen, a little, uh, some stomps, some belly slaps, some salt. You'll get rid of those spirits, I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> right now we're going to start off the ring. And uh, trying to get back to center is mute as best as possible, but that is not the case. These nares have been so good, and Nair being a great anti-float tool. Oh, there we go, the back here. Ah, uh, didn't get anything too much out of that. Okay, wait, I like that. The falling up here, you get a follow-up with that. 86% now, though. Ah, a little too committal. Yeah, Hakiwi, get on with it. Trying to find our way into a closeout, and we will yep. as we see the Jap Bear. It's going to finish the deal. And Cola playing very, very smart. After holding that lead, not getting reckless against Mute, waiting for the straight hits to add up. That's all you need around that 80%-ish range to seal the deal. Yep, clean stuff there from Cola, remaining calm and composed but not losing that aggressive edge that he's known for. And that's exactly, I think, what you need when you're going up against a player of Mutace's caliber and play style. Yep. Like, yes, Mutace is going to get his options. He's going to get his combos. But it's about how you get your counterattack into gameplay. Yep. And the way that Cole has been doing this, he got a lot of wet noodle hits, right? But when he needs those hits, he needs to close it out. He's been able to do it. He needs to keep that strong. He can't be dropping anything here in game two. Keep the pedal to the metal. Know your win condition and play to it. Even if it yes. doesn't work right away, all you need is that one good sweet spot, and you're going to get the job done. And Cola playing very smart on making sure that he got just enough damage to do it. We're going to take a return trip back to Small Battlefield and see if Mute is able to answer back. Yep. All right. 
All right, we're just starting here. Oh, well, no. I can't, come on. <laughs> Round start again. We're going to see Mr. Saturn. I, I, I very much don't predict the bomb is going to show up at some point in this set. Yeah, you're actually pretty good at calling that out. But we got, like, some of that Armada RNG coming out here, too. Like, he used to get everything, man. Yeah. Like, usually if Mr. Saturn starts, you're seeing at least one Stitch Face and maybe another Mr. Saturn throughout the match. So uh, keep close eye on it. Did you see the, hear the crowd's reaction when Mr. Saturn fell off? <laughs> it's like, no. Never asked no. for it. They never wanted anything to do with it. Oh, uh, man. Look at Mute's defense uh, being very smart, just not going over at Cola just yet because rushing right headlong into Roy is a bad idea. Yes. Whoa, go way out there for it. And I do like that aggressive gameplay, but you know what? I feel like Mute Ace probably could have got a strong counter hit out of that as soon as he got the ledge. Probably could have dropped off, done like a double jump back air to really punish Cola. But maybe that's something you have to look for when you get later into this game. Maybe the set. Yeah, now Cola going for the jabs, looking for a closeout, looking for a big anti-air call out with the up air too. That could, it's not going to kill right now, but it's all about establishing fear into Mute Ace as much as possible. Ooh. Great recovery to play around the Z-Drop. Yes, actually, and scouting that out too just to be able to be ready for that. Because uh, that Z-Drop, that could be very lethal, especially after losing that jump too. Yep. 123% to 97, both of them refusing to give up this first stock. We are approaching 1 minute 30 again. It has been very... Almost confusing to watch them live this long, considering the playstyles we're watching, but Forward Throw won't do it. It's just all about getting that stage position. Yep. He's just running back and forth. Finally gets it. The strong hit in the forward air. Taking out that first stock. Cola takes a nice strong lead here in game two. And there we go, man. Keeps that damage up immediately. 19%. Nothing crazy, but the pressure was huge. <laughs> and the frying pan coming out. Sending him right up to the top. Was indeed cooking. We're going to get that close out finally. Only 19%. That could have been a lot worse, but Mute Ace holding off to get away from the side of the stage. Going to get Winky Face, I believe that is there, but not really too worried. Is Cola trying to land on the point? Never mind. I'm a whole liar. Took 32. Uh, yep. All right, here we go. Gold. Actually, that turn up toss was smart. It forced Mute to keep floating instead of dropping down. Gets an extra hit in there. Oh. No, this is actually really scary here. Oh, finally gets a hit, but not going to be able to convert into anything. Here we go, the down air. Uh, usually, Mew Ace is really good about being able to position himself to follow up out of the down air. Unfortunately, Roy just went a little too far. They're going to get a big parry into after. Of course, that is uh, on the other side of the stage, so it's not going to lead to any chaos just yet. Just to get you off ledge, reset uh, the, <laughs> reset the ledge game again and again. And if you want to keep it up, Whoa, wow, you really, that was slick. You really got away with that. And goes for the wave bounce off the neutral B. Of course, that's really good at catching Riz recovery, but Cola not letting that happen. There we go. Gets that stage control once more here. Let me be looking for that jab, maybe. Okay, goes for the down tilt instead. Okay, we're out of jab air ranges, so at this point, it's just an F tilt. Oh, oh, I'm surprised it wasn't <laughs> just an F tilt. We're going to go for jab into forward air a little bit too far away. That man, I don't know about you, but Roy struggles to kill, apparently. <laughs> at this percentage. I say at higher percents. Let's make very right, clear go, about that. <laughs> the, the Nair will get the job done. However, only uh, 110 was put on, so Mutes can even this back up very quickly. All right, got some upstage. There we go. Another counter coming out here. And we actually tried to see that a little bit earlier. It's just that Mutes was just a little yeah. off, but got it that time. And now one stock scenario taking a small lead only for a little bit until Cola gets that Nair to actually take it right back from him. Yeah, it's an excellent tool to deal with Roy, and Cola's going to have to think about that on his recoveries from this point forward because that one finally worked. We're going to go for the up B. We're only going to take one uh -oh. Nair. Never mind, it's going to be a whole lot more. Get the forward in to close it out. We got to figure out how we're going to recover from ledge. And Mute Ace not getting any Z-Drops in and somehow not getting more damage. Usually Mute gets a lot from those positions. Oh, geez, that was actually a really scary position. I thought we were going to see the uh, the side B actually to drag him down and potentially take that one out. I mean, granted, I think the percentage is a little too low, but sometimes it just, it just happens. It's yep. Roy. Speaking of just Roy, double edge dance, forward smash, something at the ledge. Could oh. steal the game away right now. This lead is climbing. It's not going to be enough off the top just yet, but Cola is pressuring like hell and not letting Mute land. Oh. All right, so it's about getting back on stage here. Ooh. Whoa! Just barely off the mark, but that should be it. And Cola closes out that game, too. Clutch King Cola. He is doing so damn well in these positions, man. Every single time it comes down to late hit scenarios. We saw it in previous sets. It has not stopped yet. Here against Mutes, able to get yet another W on the board. Mew actually being kind of backed into a corner for a change. This is not very common we're used to seeing where it doesn't at least end up being like a game five. Now Mew has to work for it. Yep. Gonna be a tough one here, but you know what? We've seen Mew in these types of positions before. 
the clutch factor within Mew is one of the best in the entire scene. Yep. Let's be real here. And as you can see, getting started off real hot here. 40% did drop the combo, but man, that was crisp. And that's where it should have really landed. And the problem there should have been 50 plus. Just an honest 50. But we're going to answer back as well. Up airs galore, and wow. we're not backing off. Is that another? Oh, no, I thought that was a dot eyes for a second. I'm like, where is he getting all these? <laughs> Yeah, you look, <laughs> just uh, don't be surprised when they start showing up. A mute could use a little bit of blessing from R and Jesus on this here Sunday right now because it has not been too often we're seeing a lot of the helpful turn up show up. Yep, let's find a way to get back to us down the stage though. Cola, again, just throwing out these aerials, trying to get as many hits as he can. The up airs are really coming through as well. Whoa! That normally is an air dodge on stage that leads to a stock for Roy. So wow. Mew playing the very risky play, going down to the, uh, the ledge, refusing to get KO'd. That was actually a really, really quick like, grab as well. Uh-oh. Oh, falls right out of it. Super unfortunate. But now Mew Ace with an opening here and a potential to take a stock lead with the forward air and gets it. AC Cola, not too happy about that one right there, but it's all about putting it into your back pocket, not letting that get to you. And for Mute, at this point, it's about building up as much damage as you can. Yeah, you don't need to run. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did not see Double Edge Dance as being an option. There's Mr. Saturn again. again. Look, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, keep it, keep, keep, just keep it locked. We're gonna see, we're gonna see some Sinch faces. What the? Potentially a bomb show up to play. Oh! oh! This is going to be a lot of damage. Oh! Not much happened after that. Mr. Saturn just getting smacked around, and now Saturn going to exit the building. It's a little unfortunate. Cole, or, I mean, Mute Ace definitely had something cooking there. Just was a little off on the execution. I feel like he probably could have gone for, like, potential a better turn up. Yeah. Maybe a bob on coming out. Very, very rare occurrences that I'm seeing Mute drop these combos too. Mute is so good at being so consistent on them. But everybody does it. That'll be out of shields. going to help a little bit. But Cola. That that let that platform play has been very good. Usually it's very easy to pro, like call out someone being hyper aggressive off a platform, but yeah. he keeps getting away with it. Yakola's recoveries have actually been so good too. Recovering high when he needs to, and actually extending these stocks a lot further. But now View Ace starting to make some noise here. 73% on that second stock, but has a nice little lead. That's uh -oh. a turn. Oh, yeah, another drop. Trying to look for a little bit more, but still 24% on the board. Cola looking to try and even things up very quickly. 87% means nothing to Roy. Oh, uh, okay, I like that. Waiting a little bit, trying to see if you can get that uh, shield poke. Wasn't able to get it, but you know what? Cola's still in a strong position here. It's just a matter of taking the stock. Oh, tried to go in for that side beat. Yep, and there's no reason for Mute to really approach. You see, Mute is taking a much more reserved play style right now. You have to go to me to try and get this lead back. Whoa. I mean, that's exactly what Mute should be doing. There's no reason to be aggressive if you don't need to be, especially in a position where you're down 2-0. Now, all of a sudden, Cola's got a little bit of rage here, right? It just takes a couple solid hits, and then a side B at the ledge, and that's a 3-0 in his pocket. Mutes, you gotta find a way to dig deep here. We've already seen quite a few times. Cola's been able to put on damage fast and in a hurry, and uh, that is multiple interactions lost in a row. <laughs> Trying to find a falling aerial to get a big party starter going for Cola, but Mute smartly getting access to a turnip. See if you can try and keep it safe. Turnip's gonna go to Cola instead. Whoa! Cola looking for a follow-up, getting these turnip tosses himself. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think uh, I don't think he wanted to catch that turnip after the first toss. Yeah. I think he actually wanted to go in there and like actually get like a forward tilt or something. It just sometimes the items. Now there. if it worked though, that would have been one hell of a way to close out a 3L. But Mute has now put one on the board. This is usually a time where many people get very worried if you're on the other side of the sticks when you're ever fighting against Mute because all, all he needs is one and things start going south fast. So Cole has been very clutch, but Skip, is this the time where Mute starts to wake up? He better. He doesn't have a choice. It's do or die. Like if you lose one more game here in this set, you're out of the bracket, out at fifth place in a, let's be honest, a very, very strong bracket here, right? A lot of fantastic players showed up here. And it's, we're down to like what, the final five at the moment? Final yep. six. Final six left. The both losers quarters. This one is the first half of that determined who gets a final four bout to try and keep that climb going. The other half, of course, waiting on the other side is Shattuck and Light. Uh, both of these players, I mean, Light facing up against Cole earlier, Shattuck in uh, uh, Mute playing all the damn time, including recently in that finals that Shattuck was able to take. But Mute has something to say about that, and we'll see if Mute is able to get the job done. Maybe we get yet another game five here in this top eight. Yep. All right, well, here we go. Right into small battlefield, right back to where we just had our last game. And now, you ace. 
Back against the wall. We know the clutch factor in his pocket, what he's capable of. But Cola needs to keep up this aggression. Does not need to let anything go. Keep being as strong as possible. But Mutes is trying to find a way to get this W. Yeah, man. This, this player matchup in general is the ability to survive versus the X Factor because Mew is so good at holding on to stocks for so long. But Cole is just so explosive and can deal with that defensive playstyle so well. You spit on me. <laughs> Anyway, oh, okay, you've got the turnip coming through here a little bit, but the up special putting down a little bit of percentage. And I mean, 75 to 69, this is really close. Oh, with the grab, no punish from New Ace. Going for the neutral B, which is normally not very punishable, but that air dodge getting smacked in the face. Oh, wow, great air dodge to the ledge, being able to extend the stock a little bit further. New Ace is honestly. We've been missing a lot of this edge guarding going on. Like, hasn't really been able to get the turnups. And honestly, it comes down to Cola's amazing recovery so far. Yeah, and it still trips me up just how good Cola's been from that platform. His double edge dance won't be enough to do it there. He's been getting away with side Bs and falling forwarders from that platform very often. It's now time. Get Cola. Uh, oh, Mute gets the, uh, gets the right call, but doesn't get the follow up punish in that back air. All right, let's see. Ooh, gets back to that ledge once again. Mew Ace is definitely really on top of, like, keeping that pressure on Cola. He does need to be aware. Like, he can't relax while off stage. We do see the forward there, though. Close out that stock. Now, three stocks to two. That could be evening it up, and it does. Cola looking pretty solid. Yeah, that's the difference maker when it comes to Roy. You're at 80. It's my time to play. All right, a couple up airs from Mew Ace. Oh, wow, okay, that shield actually held up. Very good, get very good patience, too. A lot of times people get real antsy and want to swing back. You cannot challenge Roy in that position. Actually, you can't really challenge Roy in any landing position right now. The way Cola's been playing, continuing to rack up this damage to 77. Oh. And going to close it out off of the down here as well. Cola one stock away from knocking Mutes out of the bracket. Now, listen, this is definitely not looking great for Mutes, but you know what? I know the damage that he is capable of. The output that he has, ah, just barely misses that down there. That could have been huge for him. Uh, not getting that could be very costly. That's where you start pulling out all the tricks. Whatever you got, you better start using it because Cola, oh my god, going all the way out there. Going to get the follow-up to the tech. No, going to get back on stage. Uh -oh. Right now, Yo. looking for the big play there on the rolling <laughs> that would have finished it all. All right, now this is huge. All he needs is one turnip train, and Mutes will find a way to force a game five. It's just a matter of getting back down to the stage, getting down to safety. But Cola with the ledge trap gets the grab, goes for the down throw. It's yeah. just so scary, Ajax. And that's going to be it right there off the up tilt as Cola dropping the controller out of excitement on that. Mutes is going to take an exit from Collision 24, 24 by the hands of Moist's own Cola. That's one point for Moist. Yep. <laughs> One half of the uh, two matchups in losers' quarters that involved, like you said, the Stride Esports versus Moist Esports matchups. Cola coming out on top of the 3 1. Mutes playing so well on defense against many, but that really was kind of the nail in the coffin right there. Yeah. Once you lose that, and Cola has a 35%. Second stock still to go. There's a lot of work to do, which means you have to box. Did get the SD, or not the SD, so much just a missed space on that up B. But Cola not letting that get away and not letting it get to game number five. Yep. I mean, it really got to hand it to both these players, too. They played phenomenal all weekend. Honestly, getting to hear U8 finishing at fifth, that's not a bad placement at all. Like, again, if you're not familiar with who's been here, go take a look at the brackets, man. Take a look at top 32 alone. Mm. A lot of names were knocked out early, and that's just because some people have had some amazing runs all day today. I mean, Leo and Meister both getting seventh so far, and now Mew Ace at fifth, and now one other player will join Mew Ace at fifth place, and that's going to be people coming up in our next